So I'm a huge fan of HTC. Well, at least I thought I was. But after doing some research, I'm seeing that HTC was releasing phones. I mean, they was releasing devices such as the Desire Pro and the HTC U 25G, which none of these devices got any press or any coverage or none of them came to the United States. My last HTC phone, the wonderful phones that I had was the HTC U 11 and the HTC U Ultra, which was great devices, but got slammed in the media. But looks like HTC is coming back. They're making a comeback. So let's talk about it. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric back with another video. So HTC released a video showcasing their new 2023 device, the HTC U23 Pro. Look, I'm going to tell you, I'm really liking this design. Kind of remind me of the LG Wing in the back. It has a 6.7 inch 1080p, 120 hertz OLED display. It's powered by the 7 Gen 1 processor, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, Android 13 to boot. It has a 4600 milliamp battery, 30 watt charging. Uh, it has support for wireless charging up to 15 watts which is really good. Now let's talk about these cameras. The HTC uh, U23 Pro has a 108 megapixel main camera, a eight megapixel ultra wide, a five megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. Now in the front, the HTC U23 Ultra has a 32 megapixel camera. Now HTC is trying to push this metaverse focus type software on this device. We have to wait and see what it's all about. They're trying to be different, which is a good thing. Being different is good. Even if it's a gimmick, at least they trying. At least they try, which is a good thing. Now this device is going into the mid-range field with a lot of competition. Devices like the Pixel 7a and the Galaxy S54. So let's see what it's all about. Now this device right now is on sale in Taiwan. Not sure when it's gonna be available in the United States, but uh, let's keep that in mind. I went on their website and it's not available right now as of me recording this video. But you know what, this is a good thing. More competition is good. Look, I look, I like HTC brand, I love their devices, and I'm, I'm happy to see that they're coming back. Now the HTC U23 Pro is coming with a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, a headphone jack, that's what I'm talking about, a headphone jack, a 108 megapixel camera in the mid-range field, which is absolutely great to hear. Now, hopefully they will bring that price down under $500. Hopefully they will put a charge in the box. Hopefully they will bring all three colors to the United States. That would be wonderful. Man, I'm excited to see HTC coming back. The, the, the thing that HTC doing this time is they're doing some marketing. And now it's starting to catch their attention to a lot of reviewers include me. So I'm excited to see what HTC brings to the table in 2023. Even though they was releasing devices in the past, they didn't market themselves and they definitely didn't bring it to the United States. So hopefully this device right here will come to the United States. Listen, it's all good coming into the mid-range market because you know what? The flagships, if they would have came back as a flagship, it would have probably cost too much. They wouldn't have got destroyed by the media, right? And so, so forth and so on. So coming in the mid-range market is a good thing. And you know what? The, the 7 Gen 1 processor is, is all good. 12 gigs of RAM, 256. If it comes at a lower cost price under $500, I think that is going to have a nice foot in the mid-range market. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let's have a conversation. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.